On top of checking the change logs, the uh, WooCommerce status, system status tab is super helpful uh, before uh, going into more complex uh, troubleshooting operations. Uh, this system status, just so you know, is actually used whenever you contact the uh, WooCommerce support, they would want a copy of this old system. So if there is something wrong in here, the first answer you will get is please fix that plugin which is out of date and otherwise we're not going to uh, basically debug your problem or try to replicate your uh, problem. Um, so it is important that everything in here comes with a green check as opposed to a red alert. Um, so let's take a look at what's inside the uh, system status first uh, so that uh, at least we know what we are talking about. Uh, first of all, we have the uh, WordPress environment. Uh, of course, this is a list of uh, WordPress, um, basically, uh, constants, something that you've defined in your WP config file, uh, some hosting um, features, uh, whether the uh, debug mode is, is uh, enabled or not, the language, so something that you've basically defined and your hosting uh, as well. So there might be something wrong with your redirects, then maybe your uh, site and WordPress URLs are wrong. You can see the WooCommerce version. Uh, you can see, for example, if the logs are writable in case they're not, uh, the WordPress version, uh, the uh, memory limit, which is one giga and of course if you get uh, the uh, max execution time or the memory exhausted problem uh, the issue might be here if it's too low um, and basically a general list of features then we move on to the server so in here you will see if your php version is out of date you will get a nice red alert uh, same with uh, MySQL. So these are the two things that WordPress relies on. If you see errors in there, then maybe it's time you uh, ask your host to update uh, your PHP and or uh, MySQL version. In here you have some of the uh, limits we talked about uh, when talking about um, common uh, WooCommerce errors. Well, uh, you can't upload a post bigger than 128 megabytes. The time limit is this one. Uh, and uh, the max upload size is 128 mega. And then you have some other hosting and uh, server features such as uh, gzip, so, such as SOAP uh, client, uh, such as uh, F FSO CK open, um and uh, if you see red marks in here woocommerce should still function but maybe uh, uh um, plugins that rely on woocommerce might not such as subscriptions and something more uh, advanced then we take a look at the uh, db uh, window uh, in here it's important to take a look at the uh, database size I mean mine is getting bigger and bigger because I have uh, hundreds and hundreds of posts but it might be caused by some table that has gone uh, bad for example sometimes the WooCommerce sessions fill up with mega and megabytes of data and that could be due to an error. In my case, it's just two megabytes. So it's not a problem. Uh, as we can see, the big uh, tables for my website are the order uh, items, of course. And then the, um, let me keep scrolling, comments. So we're 12 plus 20, 40 megabytes of comments and newsletters and then of course posts so we're talking about 23 plus 125 that's a lot of megabytes 
inside the uh, database. So at least it's good uh, to know. And then of course users, 67 megabytes. So it's good to keep an eye on which table is filling up with data. If it's the wrong table for some reason, or you see tables that are belonging to old uh, plugins and they're full with data, maybe you might want to delete them because they're taking up space in your database. So um, then we move on <clears throat> to the post type counts window, which you can compare to your database. And if there is basically a very big number of uh, pages and posts and lessons, like in my case, uh, uh, then uh, you expect that the uh, WC, sorry, WP post uh, table uh, is actually quite big. Uh, if you have, you know, a few posts and your table is uh, one gigabyte, then there is something wrong, and maybe there might there might be spammy content. Who knows? You might be, you might have gotten a hack. Um, so this is not. Um, I mean, vital uh, as of now, it's just a way to check uh, what the uh, database tables are like. Then we move on to the security uh, window. Uh, your WooCommerce store has to run on HTTPS. So, I mean, if there is a, a red cross in here, there is something wrong with your uh, SSL cert setup and you should uh, contact the uh, hosting. Then you have a window with the list of active plugins. This is good uh, to eventually uh, identify conflicts. Um, you will identify conflicts if, for example, uh, I don't know, the uh, WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips here comes with a red alert saying an update is available, or you might get other kinds uh, of uh, earlier saying that uh, WooCommerce Stripe has not been tested with the active version of WooCommerce this website is on. So if you're uh, troubleshooting a Stripe problem, maybe that's because uh, the um, Stripe current version hasn't been tested with your uh, current WooCommerce version. So you have to eventually uh, wait until the Stripe Gateway uh, plugin developers uh, update and test their uh, plugin for WooCommerce uh, 4.6.1 before updating WooCommerce. So I would say that that was a mistake of mine. You know, I updated WooCommerce too soon. I didn't check uh, these uh, errors. You can see there are many more. Now, not tested doesn't mean that it won't work. Uh, it just means that the developers haven't got to that point. So you can always, always test the integration, update everything on staging when you're updating your store. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not going to test. But if you're troubleshooting a Stripe uh, error, well, this is a big, big clue. So maybe there is something new in WooCommerce that is not making the uh, Stripe gateway uh, work. Uh, you also have a list of uh, inactive plugins. Why? Because you want that to zero. You don't want to keep old plugins and old themes in your WordPress install. So uh, they could actually allow hackers to get in. So why keeping them? Just remove them from there. Um, then you have the uh, drop-in uh, plugins. These are plugins that you don't actually install, so you won't find them in the uh, plugins uh, dashboard area. These are plugins that are installed by other plugins or by your hosting, and they will basically load early. And there, there are hidden functions such as advanced cache, and as you can. Uh, probably guess this is something that my cache system uh, installs and run before all the rest uh, goes forward. Then we've got uh, a few API, sorry, a few WooCommerce settings. So we're talking about the currency, 
the list of taxonomies well nothing really important then we go to a very very important section the woocommerce pages section as you know the cart checkout and my account pages require uh, to be published and require to have a woocommerce shortcode if um, there is no uh, page or there is no shortcode you will get an error alert now i am fine with this because my website is not using the car page it skips straight to checkout thanks to uh, one of my snippets so i'm not worried but if you see for example uh, an error under your my account an error under your checkout well that means there is something wrong with the short code something wrong with the uh, page uh, status and you really need to fix that so it is possible to use a WooCommerce site without a shop page. Uh, it is possible to use a WooCommerce site without a car page, but checkout and my account should definitely be um, green in here. Terms and conditions, only if you've enabled uh, terms and conditions from the uh, settings. Uh, now we go to the theme uh, section. You will see the name of your active uh, theme you will see what version version it is on it's a child theme so it'll say version 0 because I haven't specified that and it will then tell me what the parent uh, name is and as you can see if I have an issue with the theme it is because the uh, new version is available maybe I'm going to change sorry to read the change log and see what's in this uh, latest release maybe there are some bug fixes and stuff like that if you use a parent theme on the other hand um, the uh, notification here might not be visible because it doesn't integrate with the uh, wordpress notification system in relation to updates um, so it is important that uh, if you're not using a wp.org uh, theme you actually um, keep an eye on the change log because if something is wrong with the theme you will not know it until you actually manually download uh, the uh, new version uh, uh, on your WordPress install uh, then we go to the templates uh, overrides section now this is a very important one um, thankfully my storefront theme and my child theme do not have overrides but there are some themes that heavily rely on WooCommerce template overrides and you will see a list of template overrides in here for example your theme might completely override the car page the checkout page the thank you page the shop page and so on you will see usually a long list of files in here beside each file there would be a red notification when uh, when basically uh, the new woocommerce version and your uh, basically template override will not have matching versions so let's say you decide to manually override the cart template because you want to do some changes to it you take woocommerce 4.6 you copy the cart template in your child theme you override the cart template in the meanwhile woocommerce updates to 4.7 and for some reason there were some changes applied to the uh, cart template well you're using basically an old version of the cart template so a lot of issues are because of template overrides which are out of date uh, of course suggestion number one try to use themes that do not override templates and of course when you are customizing do not override templates because that's never a great long-term idea uh, finally uh, you have some uh, action scheduler information here for the cron jobs uh, you can find out if there is anything uh, wrong in there in relation to stock 
processes. Um, overall, this system status is basically a super quick way to find out if there is any potential issue with your website, with your theme, with your plugins, with WooCommerce setup. And you can possibly guess if any of these red notifications are basically uh, creating the uh, problem that you're experiencing on your website. Uh, on top of the system status, you also get some very good uh, tools. Uh, you get the logs, which we've seen in another lesson, and you get the list of actions. But in order to uh, do some intervention and some uh, basically investigation, then the, the system status tab is absolutely vital. Uh, no matter whether you're doing troubleshooting or you're contacting uh, the uh, WooCommerce or a WooCommerce plugin developer, they will want to know uh, what your system status is and you will need to basically click on the uh, get system report copy and basically paste in your uh, support ticket.